Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, my first video I'll be making, hopefully doing a series of post-build reviews of different kits. First up is Trumpeter's E50 Standard Panzer. So uh, this kit is 135 scale. It is not a bad kit to be honest, uh, first out of the gate. It was relatively cheap. Yeah, it's got some good detail and some mismatched bits. We'll go through that as we go. But as you can clearly see, I've already replaced the barrel with an Aber metal one. It's because the barrel comes in two halves and it's a little bit short, to be honest with you. I'll get a comparison photo up so you guys can see, but it's just a little bit too short. So you might have noticed that I've got some green bits here on the turret cupola and the front mantle. Now this is a cast texture I put on there using some uh, putty just to add a bit more to the kit because it's very smooth out of the box and it should be a cast texture. Also uh, I've added the front MG. The kit didn't uh, come with a front MG, it was actually just a front glacius plate, it was just flat. It had uh, nothing really going on for it so I added that just for a bit of interest and bit more realism because you know you'll need a close defense weapon especially uh, fighting in the streets and whatnot with infantry. You always notice the tracks are the pieces here. I replaced the tracks with uh, individual links by Hobby Boss for the late King Tiger. Here's the original tracks from the kit. They were one piece vinyl band. Look they're not too bad. You could use them. I'm just not a fan of how stiff these ones are. They put a lot of tension on the drive gear when I try pushing them down so I relegated them to the spares bin or eBay I want some but yeah that's where I replaced this I unfortunately broke this set getting it on for this video so that's why it's like that but the other side as you can see is fine looks the part another thing I've done is I've added these are uh, flame suppressors in the back from a Tamir kit just because the standard ones that come with it are just King Tiger exhausts and I want to put mine more in the realm of a, a 1946 vehicle, you know, a late 45 vehicle the Germans kept fighting on. So they'll have to use flame suppressors, otherwise, you know, the allies could see the heat glow with the exhaust pipes at night. So that's why I got the flame suppressors on there. A little bit of a different from, you know, other pills kits that they've built as well. Also, I've uh, put the metal tow cables on. These came with the kit. And these are absolutely fantastic. Well done, Trumpeter. I'm really impressed with that. They really add a lot of detail. They're really easy to put on. And they're just stiff enough that they bend nicely without causing any dramas. So I was pretty happy with them. There's the other side. Yeah, very happy with them. The kit came with spare wheels, so I mounted one just in the back quarter of the turret there for no bit of interest, you know, carry some spares. But I left off the night vision equipment. I'm, I'm just not a fan of it, to be honest with you. I, I just, it needs a battery box to run it, so I'll just decide that no, I'll just leave it off. Looks fine just without it. Now that I've uh, waffled on a bit about the kit and uh, you know what I've done to it, I'll talk about some of the things that I found when building the kit that could be a problem, that could be done better, and uh, yeah, things like that. So first things first, I want to talk about the turret. Now, the turret is in, uh, we'll say, three major pieces. You have this uh, overlapping roof and sides, a front plate that goes on, and a rear plate that goes on. I'll put a photograph in. Yeah. There was a nasty fit issue here in the front glass plate, as you can see. I've had to fill. It just uh, didn't line up properly. Now, it wasn't warped. It was as though this was not molded enough. Not enough plastic got through and this couldn't mould properly. So I had that issue. But everything else fit just fine. Even putting my different exhaust fit straight in the spots. So that was really nice. Now I've left off the uh, front mud guards because it makes it a lot easier taking the tracks on and off for painting and whatnot. So I'll paint them separately and then glue them on when I put the tracks on. So that's why they're off. They they haven't been forgotten about, but I just took them off because there just isn't too much fiddliness and the very tight fit between here and the dry sprocket. I'll just keep breaking them, so I took them straight now, off. Now, the kit comes with some photo etch, uh, such as the photo etch grills, which, I remind you, are a fantastic thing to have because 
There should be grills on there, stop grenades and shrapnel and things getting inside the engine intakes. Also comes with these lifting lugs on top of the turret, which are very nice. They're very easy to bend. I uh, cut all three off at once and uh, bend them all at the same angle together and then uh, glued them on so they're all very uniform. You also get replacement uh, shackle uh, handles for the tool clamps, but honestly, I don't see the point in doing that. Um, if you're interested in that, go for your life, but they're pretty good molded on and you know it's very fiddly work just for something that's not not going to be noticed by many people so i never bothered so here they are here now just for size comparison there's my thumb like you can see the size and it's just absolutely tiny but to the tip of the knife blade like they are really really tiny um these are from the exhaust so just because i didn't use the kit exhausts some of these so this is just the um it's like a little bar that goes between the side of the exhaust so Guess so fingers can't get pushed down in there and that's just the retaining ring on the exhaust so i just didn't use them uh these weren't marked to be used i'm not quite sure what they are so all in all it's a great little kit relatively cheap uh i had no real issues besides the ones i described i had nothing randomly break or anything that was uh not going to fit like there, fit, there was no fit issues with any of the bits that were right besides that turret which had the some sort of warpage, I dare say, from being crushed in the box, but otherwise, everything else fit fine. Everything just clicks into place and fit perfectly. So I can't complain about that. So here's those lifting lugs I spoke about earlier. Don't mind that, it's just residue from that when I cleaned up. I had a little bit on the extra on the brush and I accidentally put on the turret, so I washed it off. So they do look very nice, they fit very well. You also see the, the foliage uh, loops that came with the kit. They're very nicely molded. You also see that uh, fish or has I tried filling it. Just couldn't get that thing to work. So badly warped this turret. Maybe you can see it on the top there, but there's a bit of a white mark. That's the bend where I bent it flat again. See how warped it was. There's the uh, radio antenna base. So might put a bit of metal antenna in there in the future. Yeah. Really, really nice kit. A plus. I recommend it to anybody.